this is a Sony Vio, okay, and uh, up on uh, inside the monitor, okay, uh, we have a bunch of information here that's kind of, it's a one-touch access, uh, it doesn't give any model numbers. There's no model numbers over here or anything like that. So we're going to spin it around and uh, look underneath. We have a model number right here. Okay, and uh, I'll bring this up close so you can see it. It's model uh, PCG-61315L. Alright, so uh, I already worked on this. Uh, it was dropped and uh, many, many things wrong with this, but sorry for bumping the camera. <laughs> so so um, I want to show you how to get to the CD-ROM drive, the memory chips, and the hard drive. Uh, first thing you want to do, as with anything, is take power off and push up both of these. This will stay up. This just toggles back and forth. This you have to hold up, lift this up, and take it off. And it has a swivel on both ends, so it has to go back on that way. All right, we're going to go into the memory first. I notice uh, if you see the coins around, I'm taking a break from my coin collection huh, to do this. So, uh, there's your memory chips. And uh, to take this out, we don't have any ESD straps on us. Electric status uh, uh, discharge, uh, static discharge. So, we're going to be real careful with these and grab just the edges. You don't want to touch the top, bottom, anything like that because you can uh, zap the card. So, when you put this back in, you're going to. Um, Slide it into the slot, and the slot's on one side, so you're going to correspond that with the uh, one on the computer. Push it all the way in. It's going to slide and kind of click in, and you're going to go down, and it's going to click down into place. All right. When you put this guy back on, you need to push down and click, and the, and then the screw the screw goes down uh, all the way. All right, so that's if you want to upgrade your memory or take the memory out of a bad computer. Uh, there's supposed to be two screws here. This one's missing. So we're going to take this off. And um, that should come out when we do it. Now I want to show you that there's a little uh, tab right here. That's better than some other computers I've worked on. You put your thumb in there and just lift up. The screw's still in there, so just keep it in there. I'm going to slide that back here. These are the screws that were supposed to be in the lid. This one's missing. Two more screws here to hold this down. We're going to take these down. Now what you might need is a uh, set of fingers. And let's see, I have... Because the, the uh, this is a set of, uh, set of fingers and uh, it, it has a thing that comes out and grabs things. Because these are in a tight spot, my fingers are kind of big, so I can't get in there and actually grab those. So I'm going to take this, go down, and grab it and take it out. Um, the same right here. I don't look like using uh, magnetic uh, screwdrivers because it's a hard drive. And I don't want to take a chance even though they're now shielded. Okay, you need to pull this straight back and this part up. These things go back inside the computer and allows you to take it out. So 500 gig hard drive four screws, remove, put in the same way with the label up, okay, and you're going to take these tabs and stick them all the way in, drop this down inside, and then pull until, going to grab it and, and if it'll go back in, <laughs> so, so, um, there we go, all right, it takes a little, it's got to line up and everything, you're going to put your screws back in, I don't need to show you how to do that, and then put this guy back on and click down in place, tighten your screw or screws. All right, now this guy over here, uh, you know what? I'm going to tighten this guy down because I'm going to turn this guy upside down to get a screw out. Um, move this screw over here. These have three dots on them. So three dots there, three dots here. There's no three dots on anything else. So this is for the CD-ROM drive. Alright, this guy, I'm going to, have to turn upside down to get it out because it's not coming out any other way. So we're going to put our hand down there, shake it, and there it is. If you don't put your hand down there, it's going to bounce all over the place and you can lose it on your floor or whatever. So just go under your, your uh, drawer over here where it is and pull it out, and there it is. 
and CD-ROM drive. Okay, when you put it back in, jiggle it around some, get it to fit in, and push it all the way in. All right, you should feel like something's plugging in. If you don't, you're gonna put the screw down, and the things want to be out. So, so uh, drop your screw down in there. All right, it's I can see it, so it's not down all the way. So you're gonna move it around until it actually sits in the in the spot. Okay, put your screw back in over there, and then um, this battery has uh, slots right there. There's one on that side, one on that side, and you're gonna pivot it on that slot and put it down and lock it into place. Alright, and that's how you change everything. I did not see a BIOS battery or CMOS battery. So that's everything about the Sony laptop. Hope you enjoy the video. Share it with friends. Hey, uh, hopefully it's useful to you. Bye.